Hello everyone, this is Dane from CactusAutomation.com. Today I am going to be talking about customizing your form in Modic to look however you want it to look. An example of this is I have here on this website an email sign-up form, right? It's fine, it's a newsletter sign-up, it just asks for your email and your uh, it just has a button here to subscribe and then it's got a little uh, description here at the top to sign up for updates. Uh, that's fine, uh, but what I want it is something that's more eye-catching uh, and something that connects to my brand a little bit more. It looks more like this. Uh, this get cool stuff like this in your inbox form here. It is using the same exact t type of form. It is a modic form. The only difference is how we implement it and how we put it on our website. So, if we go into Modic and we look at a form here, it's got these options for form HTML over here. It's got this automatic option and it's got this manual copy option. Now this, this plain one here, this is the result of the automatic option. It will say, just copy paste this JavaScript here right into your website and boom, there's your form. Okay, and this is recommended. It is simple and anytime you update the form, Modic will automatically update it. Now, this manual copy version, this is a little bit more complicated, but it also lets you completely customize the form the way you want it to look. So as, as Monic tells you here, this option, it does require you to manually update the HTML if you make any changes to your form, but it gives you the flexibility to edit the code and not rely on Monic to serve up the form. Okay, so this is the option that we're gonna do. I'll just start here from the beginning. Uh, let's go to forms and let's just create a new form and I'll just do this really quickly here. I'm going to select campaign form. I'll call this uh, newsletter subscribe. Sounds good. Let's add a field here. We'll need our email field. Okay. Label. Um, so first choice here is whether or not we want to show the label, and I don't think we want to here. This option does not even include a label, it just has this placeholder that says enter your email here in the form. So I can go ahead and select no for show label, and my placeholder says enter your email here. So I'm gonna say, in under input placeholder, I'm gonna say enter your email here. Okay. Uh, let's see what else here contact field email that's fine we don't need to do anything there attributes we might need this I believe so under yeah that's right under input attributes we'll just say class equals email subscribe so you can add all these different classes and IDs and you know if you know CSS and HTML you can get really into the weeds here and completely customize it but for our purposes I believe all we need to do is just add this cl one class here for the input attributes. We'll call it email subscribe right there. All right, so let's add that. Oh, it says label is required. Okay, fine. I'll add a label even though we're not going to show it. All right. And let's see, it kept my placeholder. Did it keep my attributes? Yes, it did. Okay. All right, let's see if it's saved now. Okay, great. Now let's see, submit. Is that the same? On our form here, yes, we are, we're calling it sign me up. That's what we're gonna say here. So let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, so under the label for submit, instead of submit, we'll say sign me up. Okay. Attributes, uh, let's leave that there for the time being. We can update that. All right. Um, everything else, oh, we should be good. You know, all, all the other features of forms you'll want to, you know, take note of if you're connecting it to a campaign, contact segments, all those great things that Mata can do. In our case, let's just, for, for demo purposes, uh, let's just apply these changes here. And we will save the form. All right, so like I said, we are going to use the manual option here. So let's get manual, let's select manual copy here. Um, there's two options within manual. Uh, the first option here is to uh, use this sort of JavaScript 
The second option is to copy paste the form's content into the document's body. We're going to use the second option here, copy paste the form content into the document's body. So to do that, we just select it all and we copy it. And now you will need some kind of HTML editor. Um, I'm using one called Coda here. Um, I would not recommend it unless you want to spend money. Uh, there are many free HTML code editors. You can just Google free HTML editor for Mac or free HTML editor for Windows. One that I have used in the past and had great success with and is really easy to download and use is called Notepad++. Uh, but I'm sure there are many others that you can use. So you'll need a code editor here. And you'll need to open up. So I have, I have right now the updated uh, HTML that results in this form right here. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to mimic the same thing we have going here in our modic manual um, form content here. So I've copied this. I'm going to open up an HTML file here in my code editor. Let's just pick HTML and copy that in here. And let's see, let me save this. I uh, will save it as um, subscribe form on my desktop. Okay. And I can also open this form now, this this um, HTML file that I've just saved in a web browser. So th that's what I will do periodically is just just view it as a as a as a web in a web browser. This will give you an idea of how much the styling you have to do still, right? So the same thing is here in my web browser, um, which is the HTML that you see here. So if this doesn't make sense, hopefully it'll start being more clear. What I'm going to do is gradually add the styling to our subscribe form code here that we got from Modic until it looks more like this instead of this. And then once we get it to where it looks like this, we can go ahead and add it to our website here. So we can turn this kind of more plain form into our more uh, eye-catching and on-brand looking form. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I want to do is there is some text here that I'm going to want to pull in. I'm going to want to pull in all of this here. Get cool stuff like this in your inbox. I respect your privacy. All this content here. I want to pull into our modic form code, our modic form HTML. All right, so to do that, I'm going to just grab uh, this here. This is this H2 here. This is going to, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put this right here into the beginning of the modic form here. There's two, two distinct sections here. There is this uh, div ID here that starts right here, div ID modic form. That's going to be the HTML of the form. And then above that, there is all this style here from, from the opening to the closing style tag. So those are the two basic parts. This is the stuff on the page, and this is what makes the stuff on the page look pretty, basically. All right, so, and by the way, I'm going to leave all of this source code uh, in the notes in a link underneath this video so you will have access to it uh, okay all right so I'm gonna grab that and then I'm gonna also grab this here this is this P tag which includes I will I respect your privacy etc so I'm gonna put that at the very end after the form here but before the end of the of the div here all right so I'm going to save that. I just saved my HTML file here. And if I go over to the same HTML file uh, in my web browser and just refresh it, I should be able to see the changes. And there you go. All right, so we have that now. Now let's start making it look more like this here. Now in order to do that, it looks like we need to add the background colors and we need to change the text from black to white. One thing I have done here is I've made this note here called new form CSS. Uh, this is going to tell me all the changes, all the new stuff that I'm doing that's different from what Modicus automatically spits out. 
all this style here, this is all automatically generated by Modic. So I want to be able to distinguish between what's made from Modic and what modifications I am making right now. That way, if I ever need to change it in the future, I know what's been updated. Okay, so I'll go ahead and grab this comment, new form CSS. And I will place it here, still inside the style tag, but after all this other stuff. Okay, so modic form wrapper and newsletter heading, all of this stuff. Uh, let's see here, newsletter heading and newsletter post heading. This is uh, all of the extra content that I have added above and below the form here. So we can go ahead and add that. These three, that should do. We'll add that here. Uh, this is changing the background color of the wrapper and adding some more padding and also changing the text color. All right, so let's save that and see what happens here. I'm going to refresh. Uh, okay, yeah, that looks right. Okay, so what else? There are some other changes here. So another change is that I made this... Uh, background color of what's inside here, what's inside our placeholder. It's currently white, but if you'll notice, I make it a darker shade of green here to be a little bit more eye-catching. So let's see if we can make that adjustment. I believe that is going to be this email subscribe here. So this, this class is the one attribute that I added to our form in Modic. So if you go, if you'll remember, when we were creating this form, we added this here to our email field under attributes. We said input attributes class equals email subscribe. Well, this here, this dot email subscribe, that's allowing me to take this uh, input here and change the background color. And then I can also change, what else can I change here? You see this email subscribe here? Again here, this is changing the text color to white. When we change the background color of this field here, we're also going to want to change the text of enter your name here to white so that you can see it. All right, so let's grab both of these here. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to put this over right here. Save it. Let's go back, sorry, and refresh again to see what we got. Okay. Not exactly what we want here. It does not look like our placeholder text has been updated. All right, so let's see, what else did I do here? Um, oh yes, okay, so other things here. This, this styling, this CSS here is for all these placeholders, right? And a, the placeholder is the text here that says, enter your email here. It's what's written inside the field where you enter your email address. All right, so we actually had to, that's where we have to add the color is by styling this placeholder attribute right here. So this color, all Fs, that's making the, the text white. So we're gonna grab all of this. This is all for the different web browsers here. And we're gonna place all that right here as well. Let's see if that did the trick. I just saved my file here. Yep, that's right. Okay, so our text is centered. The Inside of the form field for email is d the darker green and the text is white, so it's very legible. All right, so what are some other modifications that we've made here? We've essentially taken everything here for this um, modic form input and we have made it a little bit larger. And this is all the button here, all these lines. This is all stuff for the button. So, hopefully, that means all of Modic's styling for the form and the button that they have given us by default, we can get rid of. All right? So, this is, you see this button wrapper, button wrapper, button wrapper. This is all stuff that is for the button. Okay? So, we're going to, instead of... 
using that, we're going to copy this here. So if you'll notice the difference between these two files here. This one, the text here, sign me up, is green, right? This is just a light, uh, sort of a dark gray. The color of the button itself is, is white, whereas this is kind of a light gray. And there's some rounded corners here on this one, whereas this one is just completely square. Because uh, I kind of, I just like that look a little bit better. And also, the, I mean, the main difference that, set, that stands up is the text is bigger, and the button goes all the way across the form. See? Whereas here, it's just small. It just stays uh, this short width. Okay, so that's what all this stuff is doing. It is making the button width 100%. It's making the background color of the button white. It's making this text of the button, this, this dark green here. Uh, it is making the font size bigger. So we're going to take this here. And again, I'm going to leave all of this code here underneath this video so you can grab it. And we're going to place it right underneath here. Under our new, still under our new form CSS because this is like the modifications that we have made. Okay. Now, I think and hope this will work, but I'm not sure. So I don't want to just delete all of this default code that Modic has given. I'm going to just comment it out for now. Um, hopefully it's right, you know, but you never know. So just by commenting this section out, I can be confident that I still have the code if I need it. All right, so I'm going to save that. Let's go ahead and take a peek and see what it has, what it has done. So here's our form. If we just refresh. All right, well, that looks pretty good. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm not sure. There might be one more change here to make... If I go back here, this is the modic form input. I think it just gives a little bit more padding here. Uh, just makes the spacing of the of the form look a little bit nicer. Okay, so I copied that additional line in here. We'll see if what uh, this does here. I saved the file, and now let's refresh. Yeah, that's right. So it just made this field a little bit bigger to be essentially the same um, same height as the button. Okay, so now I'm confident that I am ready to go here. I have a HTML form that I think is gonna look pretty good, especially when added to my website. So let's go ahead and add it to our website now. In order to do this, we're gonna need to, t to place this code in two separate places. And I'm not sure, as you may have guessed, basically the two separate places are going to correspond to this part. There's going to be a style part from here to here. We're going to put in one spot, and we're going to put the actual content part right here in a different spot. Uh, all right, I can go ahead and get rid of this since I tested it out, and I am pretty happy with the way it looks now and don't need this old code from Modic. All right, so let's go ahead and add this to our website. In order to do this, uh, I'm in WordPress here. Let's go to widgets and let's just replace this with our HTML content here. Okay, so let's see here, widgets. And let's see, where is this gonna be? Sign up for updates, I think that's it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. And now I'm just going to replace that with my new content from Modic. So I'm going to use a text widget here. I'm going to bring this to the top and uh, we'll go to the text tab here and I'm going to grab this content here from the start of the div to the close of the div that has all of my form uh, from Modic here. And so I'm just going to paste that in uh, on the text tab here and save that. Okay, so we got the content here add it into our uh, WordPress widget. Let's see if, uh, let's see what this did here. Okay, so here's our content, right? Now, it doesn't look like this yet because we haven't added the cool style to make it look like that. All right, so let's go ahead and add uh, the styling. 
All right, so in order to do this, what we are going to use, there's many different methods you could potentially use to accomplish this. The one that I have found is the easiest and the most stable and that I've had the most success with is to use um, a plugin. And that plugin is called the Insert Headers and Footers plugin. So let's go ahead and look for it here because I don't believe it is installed on this website. I'm going to search insert header. Here it is. Insert headers and footers. So this is the plugin you'll need. So you can install that. All right. So it is installed. I'm going to activate it. And now what this will do is this will allow us to insert all that styling into the head tag. So once you install that and activate it, you'll see this under plugins, you'll see insert headers and footers, and then under settings, you can go to insert headers and footers. All right, so this lets you just simply put anything you want in the header or anything you want in the footer. And that'll go into the, for those of you who are HTML experts, this will go into the head section of your website on every page. All right, so this is gonna go ahead uh, and be where we're going to put the style. So everything we had here from our modified file here, we're going to take all of that. Whoops. All right, so that's from the start of the style to the end of the style. We're going to copy that. And let's just put it here. We'll, uh, I'll just say, I'll add a comment here. Um, modic form styling how about that and then I'll paste in all of that style so you see here that's the close style tag and it goes all the way up here to the beginning right all right so it inserted that into the header and now I'll save that now let's go ahead and see um, if that did in fact work Yes, it did. All right, so there might be some, I might I might want to make some tweaks here. This looks like it's a little bit too much spacing, so I might adjust that in the styling. Uh, you know, you might have to make a couple of tweaks, but by and large, this is what I'm looking for. So our um, form has gone from a very basic, sort of plain black and white form to something that is really much more of an eye-catching call to action. And that is all using the uh, manual option in Modic, and I'll once again I will leave the code examples uh, in links below this video. Thanks so much for watching.